Well, good morning, class. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope you're having a beautiful night. I hope you're ready to learn something. Uh, here's the deal. I love to teach, but I can't be a teacher if you don't learn anything. You see, so it's a trade-off, right? I want to teach. I want to call myself a teacher. I want to be a teacher, but if nobody's learning anything, then I'm just somebody up here standing on a whiteboard uh, singing to uh, an empty room. So make sure you learn something here. And what do we want to learn? We want to learn how to factor, specifically a trinomial. And how do I know this is a trinomial? How do I know? Well, count with me. One term, two terms, three terms. It's got three terms. That's why it's a trinomial. Tri meaning three, hence the tricycle with three tires. All right, so let's get this. And I'm sure you've probably seen factoring before, and you've been like, uh-oh, these are the tough ones to factor. The ones that got a leading coefficient. I don't like these ones, Mr. Miller. I wish that leading coefficient was a one, then I'd be good. I don't like that five. I'm gonna show you this ain't no problem. It really isn't. I'm gonna give you a method. It's got a million names. I don't know any of them except one called split the middle. That's what we call it, all right? Because the whole point is we're gonna split this middle term up. It's fun. It really is fun. I love factoring. I think it's a puzzle. I, I look at it, I don't, I don't get upset with it. I just, I just enjoy doing it. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. It's called split the middle. Well, this is the middle term right here. That's the one we want to split. It goes there. Now you could split negative six in a bunch of different ways, right? I mean, you could think it could be negative seven plus one. It could be uh, negative three minus three. There's a lot of ways you could split negative six. So we are, we're constrained that this top number has to be whatever this is times that. So one times five is five. That goes here, okay, so I'll put that here in red. I got three colors for you today. That one is, that five is the uh, one times five. One times five. Okay, three colors, three brand new markers, by the way. So we gotta solve this puzzle. So it's two numbers. I don't know why I went to black. I, here, I'm gonna stick with a nice, uh, there you go, color coordinated. Uh, this is an X puzzle or X box, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, either way, you need to find two numbers that multiply to give you negative five and add to give you positive five. And those numbers are, da -da 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 -da. I'll do it, da -da 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 -da. that's the worst drum roll ever. Uh, that's, I wish somebody would, uh, I'll, I'll edit that out when this video is done. Uh, five and one. Okay, I know it's five and one because five, it doesn't have very many factors. It's what we call a prime number, prime time. Five times one is five, but oh, oh, snap. That's a negative six, hello. See, that's a negative six. Boom, boom, money. All right, let's move on. Now we got this negative six. We're split in the middle, so negative six is gonna become negative five minus one. Let's get it. Negative six is gonna become negative five minus one. Let's get it. Minus one x plus one. There we go. We split the middle. There used to be a negative six. Now there's a negative five minus one. Middle term has split. Let's factor this. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm gonna rewrite this. No, actually, yeah, I am gonna rewrite it. I'm gonna rewrite it because I like you. Okay, that's why I'm gonna do that. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't rewrite that, right? So, because the next step is to add parentheses. So let's get it. Let's add parentheses here. Now notice this is a negative one. And when you add parentheses, if you add parentheses right here, notice I just busted up that negative one. I mean, it used to be a negative one and now it's a positive one. So you just gotta keep in mind when that happens, this sign has to switch to a minus, okay? That sign's gotta switch to a minus because this is a negative and a negative times now, what's now positive is negative and a negative times a negative is positive. So you gotta switch the sign. Because ultimately, when you distribute, you should get back to where you started. Follow me, follow me. Okay, we gotta factor both of these. There's two terms. Uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'm gonna probably start it up here. Ah, uh, no, I'll keep going. Hopefully you can see it. All right, so uh, 
Between 5x and 5, our greatest common factor is 5x. All right, I took out the 5, but if you think about it, 5 is 5 times 1. If I take out the 5, I still got myself the 1. Uh, there were two x's, took out one of them, still got an x, minus 1. All right, here we go. We're still rolling, right? Uh, these two terms don't have too much in common other than the number 1, so I'll take that out. Look, if, you, if you're taking a test, if you're taking a test and, and, and you get this problem and you get to right here, you should stand up on your desk and just shout, I got this one right, teacher. I got it. And, and, and oh, I'm going to tell you why you can be so certain. You can be very certain. And it's because this term is the same as that term. When those two terms are the same, that's money. The last step is you just take the two terms that are the same out. And I'm, uh, I think I got some room here, so I'm going to do it right here on the bottom. Um, so this is a 1x minus 1. And you group the leftovers. 5x minus 1. And you put a square around that. That's how we do. That's how we do. Uh, just keep in mind, this last step... I, I took out what's common, so, like, look, if I had gone like this, essentially what I did is I took out the 1x minus 1, and I grouped the leftovers, so look at what was left, 5x minus 1, boom. Trust me, it works for everything, let me get you one more, let me get you one more, I don't, wait, I gotta go get an eraser. Here, I got this eraser, it's not really an eraser, it's actually, a, it's an old t-shirt. And it has, a, it has a T on it for team. Um, it's actually not for team. The T was for teacher. We had, a, we had a, 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 like an Olympics at lunchtime, teachers versus students. You know, so I was on the teacher team. And of course, you know, I cleaned up, cleaned up, won a bunch of gold medals. And then they decided to uh, no longer have that uh, Olympic competition. Hey, like I say, just do your best. And sometimes your best is good enough. Okay, that's, that's, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, if, even if I did win all those gold medals, I wouldn't, I wouldn't brag about it. All right, here we go. Um, 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. Holla! This one's all positive. You're going to roll through this one. So right now what I want you to do is I want you to hit pause. And bef wait, before you hit pause... I want you to really, really examine. This is math is about patterns, people. It's about patterns. I'm gonna follow the same pattern I just followed. So you got a piece of paper. Hopefully you wrote some uh, notes down on it. Look at those notes. Look at this problem and get it done. Okay, now hit pause again. All right, let's get this thing. I don't even need this anymore. And I just crumbled it up and I actually didn't want to crumble it up because I haven't made a copy of it yet. So I'll iron that in a second. All right. Let's get, oh, jeez. All right. Let's, uh, what it's called split the middle. So how about we split that middle term first? All right, try to write here, uh, maybe a little smaller. Uh, that gives us a seven. Now the term on the top is this one times that. So six times, uh, two, two times six is 12. All right, so it's a puzzle. They gotta, they gotta add 